All right, I'm just taking a look at the way these individual conductor MI cables are connected to this steel cabinet we see here. So we have phase A, B, C, and the neutral, all individual conductors, single conductor MI cable, going through individual openings in this steel cabinet, also with steel lock nuts. Now this is a violation of section 300.20B. When you have individual conductors like this connected to a ferrous metal cabinet, you don't want to have steel or ferrous metal in between each conductor opening because this metal will heat up because of the magnetic field. So you're supposed to cut a slot between each hole for the conductor and that will help minimize the heating effect. Another option is to just cut out all the steel, mount a brass plate. Brass is non-magnetic. So you can attach the brass plate to the cabinet and then connect the MI cable to the brass plate. And again, that will help minimize the heating effect in between each conductor opening. So it's a violation of 300.20B we're looking at. This is Russell Blank, NEC consultant for ECNM Magazine.